today we'd like to talk a little bit about the budget that's been put together for 2019. Um, you know, our current city hall is about 102 years old right now. The city uh, made a decision uh, that and adopted a recommendation from the Building Use Committee, which inclu included a number of citizens that uh, looked at the options. We uh, took a look at building a new city hall in various sites and ended up coming back to we should stay in the building that we're in right now, but uh, to modernize it and, uh, and give it a new life. So there's a lot of um, construction that's going on, but basically we're going to be um, putting a new roof on the building, tuck pointing it. Um, we're going to be completely gutting the inside of it and rebuilding it from the inside out. Um, I think the, um, the building was originally built for $150,000. Um, if you take that money and you extrapolate it in one of the, uh, those calculators you can find on, the, on your computer, that would come to a little less than $4 million, but it's costing $10.4 million for this entire project. Could you describe a little bit how we're going to be financing that? Yeah. Uh, as you mentioned, 10.4, 10.5 is the yeah. overall budget. Um, Six million dollars uh, was authorized in a borrowing in 2018 by the Common Council, and the remaining, the 5.5 million, will come from the city's uh, general fund uh, fund fund balance. So the city, uh, over time, due to uh, higher than pr projected revenues, uh, less spending than what was budgeted, uh, this, due to again conservative budgeting. Uh, the city has created a, a very nice uh, fund balance within the general fund uh, budget, and as a result, the Common Council has authorized uh, transferring all those uh, funds, 5.5 million, to the capital projects where it will be spent on the, the City Hall renovation project. The project is expected to be completed in June of 2019. And we can't wait to move back in, can we? It's a, it would be a little drafty to relocate uh, at this time. Yeah, you know, and um, you know, we've we've moved uh, city departments to two other buildings. Basically, the first floor of City Hall has moved into the old Social Security office, which is located just to the west of the current City Hall. And then uh, the upper two floors, those offices were moved into the Sheboygan County Highway Department garage, and um, and so we're operating in in a li little bit different uh, character than we'd, we'd normally like to be by being split up. But every, we appreciate all of our, our staff uh, putting up with uh, the, the, the different uh, confines for their offices and uh, hope that the citizens can still find the services that they need when, when coming to us for information and help. Um, in the next budget, um, I'm just wondering if we're going to be seeing uh, any road assessments coming back in. Uh, a couple of years ago, the city council decided to suspend road assessments, and each year they've had to make a decision to either re-implement those or to suspend them. And uh, I'm just wondering what's contemplated in the 2019 budget with, with street assessments. Yeah, I think in uh, 2017, the common council decided to suspend uh, they're, they're never an easy uh, charge to impose upon property owners uh, and as a result the Common Council asked if uh, staff could find an alternate way to fund a portion of the city's uh, street improvement program. Uh, in essence what's happened is that uh, the city has increased its uh, acceptance of, of debt being issued and as a result uh, the city in essence is borrowing additional half a million dollars and not special assessing. Uh, again, once we get a little uh, more caught up, uh, hopefully that amount will, will decrease. But for the time being, uh, the city is borrowing an additional half a million dollars a year, but not imposing any special charge on any property that directly benefits from a street uh, improvement pr uh, project. And um, about that same time in 2017, uh, the city approved a, a wheel registration fee, commonly known as a wheel tax. And I believe that brings in about seven to $800,000 a year. And um, we were in the past receiving about maybe three hundred dollars to $500,000 a year in, in street assessments. So to some extent, uh, in addition to that bonding, we're really uh, spreading this out across all the taxpayers in the city when they uh, renew their license plates. Yes. 
Um, how will the uh, taxpayers be impacted with the 2019 budget? What's going to be the, the bottom line for people and uh, what they can look forward to in their tax bill? Uh, bottom line for city of Sheboygan residents for municipal purposes is a 19.4 cent increase or approximately 1.99% increase. So if I uh, am the owner of a $100,000 property in the city of Sheboygan, uh, my taxes, again, for city purposes, would go up $19.40 on an annual basis. Well, that sounds like that's a pretty good deal. Uh, you know, with all the things that we have to balance and everything, that's a pretty minor impact on our taxpayers. And I hope that uh, they appreciate all the work that uh, your departments do uh, to uh, pro supply the services and, and that we're not cutting back anything, still trying to supply all the services they expect of us. Thanks again for uh, your time today, and thanks to all of our viewers for tuning in to learn a little bit more about the Sheboygan City budget for 2019.